forever. Hello, welcome. It is Club Call. It's Wednesday. It's Club Call time because it's five o'clock or just gone five o'clock. So if you, want, if you want to give us a call, not much going on. There isn't though, really, isn't it? No, there is. There's I mean, Everton under 19s are getting pounced 4 0 in there. Pounced the, pounced new, the on, new one. No, pounced by on by the Wolves Ooh. in Mumbai. Let's hope that's not a thing. I mean, it's not a thing because we're no. not playing in Mumbai. No. It's not under 19s. Yeah. And uh, no one really cares. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if you want to give us a call, the link is at the top of the Toffee TV premiere. In fact, Ned is going to put the link to it in the in the uh, YouTube comments. And all you got to do is click through it, and you'll find the link there once you've paid your three pound a month. Mm-hmm. Uh, Four nil. Wow, what a terrible result! And all you got to do is click, click it. You can use a phone, an iPad, laptop, anything. Just have a pair of headphones in, so you can hear us. We can hear you nice. Um, and try not to have frog chorus behind you. If that you is, I mean, it's it's a thing. To, you unless you're Paul yeah. McCartney releasing a Christmas yeah. song or a song released at the Christmas, then that's... And all all you got to do is tell Na- Ned your name. Make sure you tell Ned your name. Yeah. And do a sound test for mm-hmm. him, which is count to five. Don't go. Because that's not a sound test. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then you can have a chat with us about anything. Mm-hmm. And let us know where you are in the world. Let's have a... Yeah. Let's have a let's do that. Let's now. have a competition for the for the most unique place in the world. There you go. What's the um, actual competition? Is there a prize for the competition? You get our love. Okay. You okay. You get, get our love. Um, yeah. Also, Ned's going to switch on his cameras and he's going to switch on his microphone so that he can't say anything that will legally get us into trouble. Mm. Uh, Ivan Tony's just been given an eight month ban. Mm. He is banned till January. I'm fine, 50 grand. This would be the perfect time for Everton to get him on a six month loan. Oh, just get him. Just get him on loan. <laughs> Let him train a Finch farm looking sharp and then he goes just back. Just like for ready. photo opportunities, mm. maybe get him to hug a few people. Well, we have strikers that mm. don't really play, so yeah. that would be perfect. Yeah. I mean, what do you make of that? Because obviously he's been banned. For that length of time, so they found them guilty. Yet yeah, he's been allowed to play football all season. The shocking goal. truth behind Ivan Tony's ban, exactly, isn't it? It is a bit mad. Um, I don't know. I mean, he's had two hundred and sixty-two betting offences. Mm-hmm. Um, he'll not be able to play for club or country till the January sixteenth. Mm-hmm. Um, he is origi- originally charged. Uh, blah blah blah. Do you know what I would say? Do you know when people say, "Well, he." You know, it's took. Why is it taking this long? And he's mm. been able to play. One thing I would say is, well, at least it's f- fair in a manner because he's been able to play against everybody. <laughs> so that makes it fair. So for everyone, doesn't it, it though? Because no one can really turn around. And go, well, he we can't play. bemoan the fact yeah. he played against. He played us, against everybody. Four points. So therefore, I, what I'd do is I'd let his band start at the end of the season, mm. and I'd go, well, he's band played. Eight he's eight played against season. everyone, so nobody's had an advantage or mm. no one's had a disadvantage. So that's fair for everybody else. Mm. And now we start the band. And he'll uh, he'll miss eight months from the end of this. That's what I do personally. But um, no, listen, he he's he's been um, charged with misconduct in relation to thirty additional uh, betting breaches that happened in December, and they've gone through it, and it's taken a little bit of time, and now they've got like anything, isn't it? It's like if you go, you can't. I suppose if you you are you are guilty to you know, uh, sorry, you're, you're innocent until proven guilty. And they've gone through it, it's taken time, and now they've got it. And that's why I had to wait till the end of the season to do it. But they won't, because that's not how they work. Nope. But, yeah. I there suppose in one hand what it does is it says, it says you know, we don't, we we will not put up with this as teams are running around wearing mm-hmm. shirts with betting companies on the front of them. So, that's true. So, Scott it, says Brentford have an advantage, though, because he's played in every game for them. Yeah, but yeah. that's not the point, though, is it? The point is, the point is, if he's played nearly every game, then someone he, he scored a goal against us, and the next week he plays against one of our doesn't play against one of our rivals because mm. of this. Then no one's getting an advantage. Mm. That's why I wouldn't start it to the end of the season because yeah. then no one can turn around and go, "Hang on, yeah, you uh, you, you could, played against you, you could have had this done, yeah. and all that kind of thing." So okay. Just that makes um, it fairer, doesn't it? Rondon the legend says evening. Good evening. Maybe makes that's good a evening. Bring, bring into a place in Rondon. Yeah. Maybe. Um, hit the like button and get subscribed, please. Thank you very much. It helps the channel. Never Thank mind. you. Uh, iconic football shirt says, guys, would you take Shaka? 
for around 10 million. I would. He's leaving Arsenal, isn't he? Granit Xhaka. Oh, Granit Xhaka. Yeah. Sorry, I was like, are you meant me? Um, he gets him. How old is he? 28, is he? Is he? He might be a bit older. That's a, I mean, that's a, if they're getting rid of that, him, then they're getting Declan Rice, aren't they? To be honest. Would I have him? Um, I mean, in an ideal world, yeah, you would Post have him. Mm. Could to be him. honest, I always thought he was a bit of a S house. Mm. But this season he's been a lot better. Mm. But if Declan Rice is coming in, he's at the end of his contract. You can understand why they're letting him go with thirty. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah. But no, I, I wouldn't actually have him. Not, mm. not, not that he wouldn't get in the Everton team. Mm. But we, he's thirty and all that money and that. We need to get away from that kind yeah. of thing. Is he out of contact or? I think he's got a year left. Okay. So they've allowed him now to get to get some money for him basically. Sophie Gallagher says uh, Matt use at it again. Can we fast forward to next Sunday night? Also, is Richarlison going to help us out again? I'll be honest, Sophie. I'd like to fast forward to the end of next season. Never mind the end of this season. Okay. I think we're going to have a very very topsy turvy next twelve months. Do you? Yeah, hundred percent. Hundred percent. I don't know. I don't know, Chen. Um, Grey and Blue says, what do you make of the five clubs allegedly ready? They can't sue Everton. Everton cannot be sued yeah. over this. The Premier League, someone could make a legal claim against the Premier League, although all of those clubs have distanced themselves from it now. Mm. Totally. Um, and I've just said, oh, we just want it investigated. You can't sue Everton. What can you sue Everton for? You can't sue Everton for anything. Mm. It's the Premier League. So... That's it. Uh, Stephen Lee says, proper howled seeing that Baz editor picture of EastEnders from the 1878. That was, was good. Tremendous. The person who done that edit must be some kind of genius. Must be. Well, we knew he wasn't dead because it took six months. Never yeah. met um, I do those edits every week. Do you? As good as that? Mm. That was clean, that. That was clean. The do Heisman one was the best. No, that was, 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 that was clean, that. You would Dave, not know. Dave AFC says, what do we think about Saturday, lads? A win and the Newcastle win. Monday night puts Leicester out the picture, hoping Dom can play. I think if Everton win on Saturday, I think we'll be safe by Monday night. I think West Ham will beat Leeds, and I think that Newcastle will pulverise Leicester. Mm. It's a, and I think Arsenal will beat Forrest at half five as well. Yeah, I mean, listen, it's a big ass though, isn't it? I mean, we've got to do our mm. part. Again, it's that thing of like, if we get to the end of the weekend and we're still in control of our own destiny, mm. will it have been a terrible weekend? No. But you've got to go through it's the whole weekend. That's another one then, isn't yeah. it? Another one. It's just grim. It's just grim. Um. Okay, we've got our first caller. Connection's a bit ropey, but... What is? His connection's a bit ropey, but I've just got him. We might. The time being, if you it, wanna... it might be the frog chorus. Boom. Boom, boom. Just beware. Boom. Just boom. beware. Boom. Aye, aye. Go on, Astro. Yeah? Yeah, we're going. Yeah, you got me. Got you. Yeah, yeah. How's it going? We've got you. Like, Superman has got Lois Lane, but who's got Superman? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, so how's everybody feeling this week? Oh, I'm, I'm, mm. I'm perfectly chilled out, mate. No issues at all. Are you... Are you going through uh, Eurovision withdrawal? That's what... That's the major one, mate. That's the major one. Yeah, I, I have a question. How is Australia in Eurovision? Because <laughs> uh, they really like, like that's it. That's not very Euro. How, you know what I mean? How's Hawaii in America? Well, mm. because mm, I don't it's know. It's not it. part of the continental mm. United States. How come well, a, you know what I mean? I'm just curious. How come there's a big <laughs> country between? How come there's a big country between Alaska and America? Mm. <laughs> they want uh, apparently. Yeah. Apparently, though, America want to come in the Eurovision. No, they they'll ruin it. Much. They'll no, you don't, you don't, you don't, you, some things you just don't want no. to invite Yanks to, and yeah. Eurovision is one of it because we tend to ruin everything yeah. that we touch. Yeah, yeah. Um, that is fact. Yeah, I mean, like I ruin Toffee TV's club call every time I call in. No, so, that's not true. You know, that's it's what true. we do. That's not true. Yeah, no, no, we'll, we'll, argue, we'll argue the point on that one, but 
Uh, money is the answer yeah. to the original question, my friend. Money is the answer to that question. Got it. No. Got is, it. Israel's not quite, in Europe. Quite interesting. Israel's not in Europe. And I, I know, and, and neither neither is Egypt or Tunisia. Azerbaijan. Well, but they're in it. They're not in, in the, Azerbaijan. Exactly. Azerbaijan I know, I just, and Asia. I I didn't. I didn't understand Eurovision, and and I had to explain it to me this weekend. Mm. Right, um, I knew of it. I didn't understand it. Now, now I understand that it's mm. very interesting <laughs> that Sweden won, and it's the fiftieth anniversary of ABBA yeah. getting that Waterloo on. You know what I'm saying? This is it, my friend. So I, how how convenient? How you convenient know what I mean? for all indeed. the dancing queen mm. ABBA friends out there? You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. I think you know. <laughs> yeah. What can you do? What, what can, can you do? North, so, North. so yeah, I, I basically I've kind. Of... Ah, oh, well, there you go. I really want to know what basically. <laughs> I don't gas. I got. We got you back on. Go on. Go on. Go on. It is. It's my phone. Realize it. Just... So that's how you lose me. It's not Ned's fault, okay. and it's not the frogs either. Okay. It's, it's, it's straight up astro in, in ignorance and, mm. and incompetence. So, which is there's no sh- shortage of that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, Go it's, on, like, it's like sand in the desert. You ain't getting away from it. Yeah. No, I was just going to say, I've been kind of in a bunker, you know, and I, I see articles being sent out today saying that like every man and his dog is going to sue Everton mm. for existing, yeah. apparently. Yeah. You know what I mean? And uh, yeah, and then I hear like other things saying like Lango Rourke hasn't been paid. And I'm thinking like, I'm waiting to hear that the sky is going to fall. Or there's yeah. a comet coming. You yeah. know what I mean? It just mm. kind of seems like. Everybody, Everton's not providing enough negative press no. on its own like it normally does. So people are just in the business of muckraking and making things up now. Is that yeah. is that kind of what's happening? Yeah. Okay. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Everton's Fair ground enough. is continuing to be built. People who don't get paid generally stop working. Mm. There's, in fact, there's a big, massive new Lango Rock sign on mm. the west stand and also does that they're advertising for more people to work on it because you you know you don't you do that if you've got if you're not getting paid it's nonsense i mean that's exactly what you do when when you're not getting paid you just double down yeah i mean you just put your foot through the you know put your foot through the floor you know what i mean run the gas all the way yeah no it's 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 just based after i i i i don't tend to believe anything like that until i see it reported somewhere other than the daily fail i mean i'm a yank and i even know you wouldn't wipe your ass with that much less read it and think it's true no so you know what i mean uh so how are we feeling about wolves this week how are we feeling about listen i have to admit i haven't been watching my toffee tv like i normally do a lot of big things happening over here kind of keeping me away from my my content uh but i'm just saying how are we feeling about dcl on the weekend and how are we feeling about our chances down at the down at the down at wolves um, I think Dom. I think Dom will play because I think it's almost a all or nothing situation for Everton. There's two games to right. go. It's the two. They are two cup finals. I think if Everton sure can win on Saturday, it heaps huge, huge pressure on Leeds, Forest, and Leicester. Um, right. Are they good enough to come through that pressure? Forest, Leeds, or Leicester? Probably not. But then are Everton good enough to go to Molyneux and win? Mm. That's the big question. We're all we're all not very good, which is the reason why we're all down there struggling. So I don't know. I I honestly don't know. I think the Brighton game should give everyone hope. The, the City game is a nothing because it was you're up against a robot yeah. type side. But listen, but, but we need them. That's that's mm. just the fact. The team, the team is so much more dynamic and different when Dom's in the lineup. Yeah, and 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 that. Listen, some of those moves he pulled in that Brighton match. I mean, oh my goodness, I'm talking about nasty. I mean, listen, it, it just that turn he pulled mm. on Dunk. Yeah. Oh man, I'm telling you, listen, if you weren't an Evertonian, that was obscene and ought to frighten you. You know what I mean? Keep you awake at night, kind of mm-hmm. stuff. But no, I mean, you know, Dom's that great. I do think he does add so much to our attack and our ability to just spring on people, you know, like a bear trap like we did on Brighton. And, and I got to say that Brighton win, I mean, I I think I, I think I uttered every expletive in the book in celebration that day. I mean, I, I literally like scared the neighbors mm. because I just got louder every goal we scored. <laughs> and you can imagine me, I'm, I'm loud to begin with. So, you know, it was crazy by the end. But, um, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> 
I don't know. I, I have to admit, Everton's not been my 100% focus with everything that I've got going on right now. Mm. Um, and, and, and I'm so ready for Everton to do what they did against Brighton and just absolutely handle Wolves and just be like, okay, Leeds, Leicester, ball's in your court. Mm. And hopefully we get some teams that do us a favor on the weekend and we can put this thing to bed and the final match at Bournemouth doesn't have to be, or with Bournemouth at Goodison doesn't have to be, uh, mm. I don't know, uh, you know, a last chance saloon mm. kind of a situation. Yeah. Um, but yeah. You know, yeah, we just yeah. need this to be in, a, I suppose whatever happens, we need this to just be in our hands for the Bournemouth game. Uh, so we can feel like you know we've got some control over everything going on. Um, sure. But I mean, obviously, a win a win at Wolves would be amazing. Would be absolutely amazing. But they've got to go out and do everything they did like the, against Brighton and and have that same kind of attitude of like you know uh, being willing to lose it to win it. I suppose so. So that like, yeah. we, like we were at Brighton where it just we we let them come on to us and then play on the counter attack and we got the goals and. Listen, whatever happens on Saturday, it's uh, Sunday. The week after is going to be um, mental. Yeah, it is. It's gonna. It's gonna be. Yeah, it's gonna be one of those games where you know you haven't got another chance after that. And yeah. you know, I've experienced that a couple of times before. And um, but with everything heightened the way it is at the moment, uh, not only at the football club but just at, just football itself and the way. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I don't know which way which way it would go. And on Saturday we saw security on uh, Sunday. Sorry, so security on the pitch. Yeah, did see that. Yeah. yeah. So um, those. Listen, that... I, I listen. I, my question is this, Ped, and I apologize for interrupting you. Go on, is go it on. like the only celebration that I want to see if we stay up? Is a, is a, is a, fit, a a tradesman or a fitter uh, going into the director's box and removing all their seats and throwing them out on the pitch? Like that's what I want to see. I, I want to see the director's seats sacrificed at the feet of the Goodison faithful to to just to begin to make up for the absolute farce that they've turned this football club into. That would be a very unique celebration. It would uh, be. I must I must admit. I mean, you know. We probably get criticised for releasing fumes into the atmosphere or or wasting Dust. wasting From seats that you know people, other people could have you yeah. know in in this in this day and age. So oh, Matthew, uh, you should write a, Ma- yeah, Matthew, Matthew should write a piece about how we've disrespected seats or something. You would just warm the yes. planet up, warm the planet yes. up to the, so, the, the yeah. one and a half degrees that well. it is going for. So. No, Listen, what? he's gonna be crying into his teacup for 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 the ages, I guess. Somehow, Everton did something wrong to him at some point in his life because he's got an axe to grind and a vendetta to push every time you turn around. I mean, you'd think his job was chief Everton slagger off of, you know what I mean, for the Daily Mail because that's all he does. Yeah, um, absolutely. Yeah, we've had yeah, quite a few. Regardless, quite a few people have got that. Quite a few people have got that job title. I think in this country. We've made it easy for them. Mm. The club have made it easy for these people to exist and subsist on the stupid things that they do. Yeah. And I've got an idea. How about you run the football club like a professional organization and a commercial enterprise that wants to succeed with a little bit of integrity and, and openness about how it does its business with an inclusivity that involves the fans? I mean, that would be a novel idea. You know what I mean? One for the ages. <laughs> I would love to see that. And that now these people would have nothing to say at all. Yeah. No, Sorry. it's it's, you, it's gonna. You know no, you're gonna get one soapbox rant. No, yeah, I want I want lots of uh, listen, mate. I want lots of soapbox rants because I do think now is the time, mate. I'm I think in the next, I think you know, powder has gone a little bit dry in the last few weeks, certainly from the protesting side of things. Just but a I, pause. but I want to hear, pause. I want to hear people alive. I no, no matter what happens, we cannot allow what happened no. after after last season to happen again. These people need to be. Moved you know, on. They need. It, they need to be held accountable. Well, and they yeah. need to be moved on. They need. They just need to be done. And new new people need to come in. And 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 the club needs to start being run properly. And if there aren't signs of that, literally, like you just said, there, the day of the the day after the the last game, where it's like, because last season it was like, oh, everyone take a deep breath, and then certain people telling us in the summer, oh, this is. I thought we were all together on this. I was like, no, we are all together. You're the people who are not together. You're the people who have destroyed this football club. So let's make sure that 
I want to hear everyone on the soapbox, to be honest with me, because that to me tells tells me that people care and people want change. Because I just, I, you know, that's that's so important now that it 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 needs to be fan led. Just in that response of like, we're not willing to take this, and it does, you know, and and hopefully, so anyone who wants to ring up here and get on their soapbox, that's ha- I am happy to listen to it all. So it's important, very important. Is he gone? He's not speaking. Is he not? Are you are you there, Astro? Is, oh, Is he gone? All right. Well, le- uh, nice you, one, Nick. Nice one, Nick. That came to a an abrupt end. Uh, well, not abrupt. I think it came to a natural conclusion. Okay. Fair play. Uh, so Gallagher says, uh, seeing as Baz's wife correctly predicted the Brighton score, mm. she was she said five nil. So she was close. Uh, does she think we'll stay up? She does think we'll stay up. Mm. So there you go. Um, where are you? Music Man says, are yeah. you worried about Leeds? I can see them turning over Spurs and getting something from West Ham. No, I'm not. I'll be honest. I'm mm. not worried about anybody else's results. Mm. Last week, we said we needed four points. And the reason we said we needed mm. four points is because we knew other teams would pick up points. Mm. So we have to pick up four points. If we don't pick up four points, then we're done. Mm. It, you know, if we don't pick but up we three points, we're done, aren't we? As mm. far as I'm concerned. Got to win a game at least, haven't yeah. you? Uh, Andy Walker says, I'm very worried about Leeds. I know Baz doesn't rate them, but they completely outfought Newcastle the other day. I think they can get full six points in the last two games. I don't rate anyone who's in that relegation zone and Everton are one of them. Because quite clearly, all season they've proven they're not very good. Yeah. Leeds haven't turned into Man City because Sam Allardyce has come through the door. Check. Have they? So they are what they are. They were always going to battle and scrap against Newcastle. It was mm. his first own game. It's a home game for them. I looked at that result and seeing two points dropped. They were at home and they, they didn't win the home game. There is a world where Leeds and Everton stay up. No, I know. So, and I'm just, what I'm saying is, I look at their two games and go, as much as people go, they'll get six points there. I look and go, well, they're at West Ham, who's its final home game. They could quite easily get turned over by West Ham. And then everyone's going Spurs at home, easy that. Spurs could go there, beat them 5-1 comfortably. Harry Kane, Richarlis and Son. The Spurs have battered them a few times there. So, the, not saying Leeds can't win both, because of course they can. But when you're looking at things like this, it's more unlikely when they've only won seven games of football all season that they won't win two and two. Mm. But they may well do. Forrest may win theirs. Leicester may win their last two. Everton may win their last two. We all we have to do is match Leeds and Leicester's results for the final two games. If Everton do that, Everton are in the Premier League next season. If Everton can't do that, they don't deserve to be in the Premier League, do they? Yeah. If yeah. Everton can't get the points no. and win at least one of these two games, why did he deserve to stay up? Mm, exactly right. Sure. Right, we've got uh, Will Gregg on. Hello, Will. Will. Hello, Will. Hello. You right? Yeah, all good, Will. Are you in a yeah, submarine? Yeah, yeah. Are you in a submarine? Can I hear you? Oh, no, it's not. I just got my headphones on because I'm just, just cooking. Oh, okay. Go on. Listen to you, boys. Go on, we can uh, hear you. Go on, mate. Yeah, so um, just seeing to see the news about Ivan Tony getting yeah. an eight-month eight eight month ban. Yeah. yeah. Um, just wondering, do you reckon it's a bit ill-timed just because he misses three months of the ban during, like, three seasons? So is it, would it have been worth waiting until the start of next season and bringing in the eight, eight months span there? Mm, okay. So uh, they're incorporating the summer in it, aren't they? Is that right or wrong? They are. Yeah. They yeah, are. It's banned until what, 17th of January or something. Mm. They are, but what if they'd been like a major tournament this summer? He would have been banned from playing for England, wouldn't he? In... They knew that he, it isn't a major tournament this summer. No, but they, would, they wouldn't. They don't. They don't. They don't change things, do they? they? They never do. They always start the ban from. Mm. The, uh, it could. I mean, they could have given. I imagine they could have given a. Um, a uh, well, they could have given a game ban, couldn't they? They could have said you are banned for thirty games, 30 I suppose. Games. But but they've gone with a month and and. I'll be honest. I I honestly not asked one one bit. He's been, I'm, I'm just not. You know, what I mean? he's been banned and. He's a, he's not he's not it's not someone someone that really we have to worry about because Brentford aren't a, a bottom team anymore. So 
Uh, he's been banned. You know, the ban is correct, uh, I think, in terms of what he's done. I'm surprised he got banned, to be fair. I was expecting just a slap on the wrist. No, he was always getting banned. The, the, they take, regardless of, like, regardless of, like, the sponsors and stuff, they do take players betting very, very seriously because it can open the door up to a lot of um, unsavoury things, match fixing and stuff like that. So, um they do. do you reckon that would have, like make a question about like Man City or our case? No, because like, they're two they're completely different things, aren't they? And I think that they've the 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 people who do them are different people as well. I think this would have been an is this an uh, this is a pro, this is an FA ban mm. sanctioned by the FA because they've broken FA yeah. rules. With ours as an outside commi- uh, commission who will we will take them who will be almost like a court of law. So I don't think I don't think you have to. Uh, I mean, they're not banning us for eight months, Ardy. They're not saying you can't play for eight months. So I wouldn't. Um, I feel like we've just had that ban, haven't we? Uh, we're on about a twenty-eight year ban, aren't we? Um, yeah. From winning trophies. So. I mean, I mean, I'm 30 years old, so I can't even actually remember if I was winning anything. Well, I get his stories off my dad about fucking buying me in that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, cheers, cheers, Dad. Yeah. No, it's sad, isn't it? It's sad, isn't it? Aye. But it no, I, I think I think the ban is correct, and I think I think um, whether there's a, I mean, the summers summers two months, but they they very rarely say we're gonna um, we're we're gonna we're gonna pause it. Um, you know, it's it's people yeah. people say, well, why is it taking this long and, and all that kind of thing? I, I don't know. At the end of the day, who is it? It's one of those ones, isn't it? Because it's a weird one. Because I don't know what you think about this, Baz, but it's not. It if you're a football fan, it this is just a bonus, isn't it? Rather than going, oh, it's just that's a disgrace. You, no one's sitting there going, he should be banned for this long or that long mm. because it's something that doesn't really affect us as fans i know it could potentially have a have, have a knock on because it's like oh well he bet on that and he used to say he used to say but he, this is a lad who scores goals regularly he's not it's not like he's been th- match fixing to throw games is it he's been scoring goals so it is what it is he's done he's done something wrong he's gonna get punished for it and there you go do we know what he's actually been betting on has he been betting on like himself scoring or uh no, just games. No, they, they haven't. Yeah, it just says just, games. Just games. It? I think. I don't think yeah, he. Okay. I don't think he's been betting on himself. I think it's just games. So, um, yeah. Kind of like in kind of trading kind of. Uh, again, I don't mm-hmm. know. I think they just football just takes it. You're not as you if you're in, if you're involved in the game, you're not allowed to bet. That's the end of it on anything. And they yeah. know this, any, don't they? They know it. Yeah, on anything because the, yeah, there is an element of inside trading. If you get a tip, this happened. The uh, this happened three or four years ago. Um. Atkinson Stanley um, were playing someone on the last game of the season, and basically, I don't know how how this was allowed, but one of the Atkinson Stanley players was it was a stag do on the last weekend of the season, and the manager gave them permission to all go, and basically, all these people found out about it and bet obviously massively against Aki, and I think they were playing crew. So they got beat maybe 3-4-0 because it was all youth team plays. There's not left for the season. And why the manager allowed that, I'll never know. But that they all got done because it was like it was it was considered inside trading mm. that they'd gone on they'd gone away and they told people that they were they were going to be missing they're the game. Playing, so yeah. it was considered in so a lot of people got into trouble for that. So it's um there it, there is an element of that side of things of like, oh I know he's not playing, so I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure I bet against them. Mm. Uh, that makes sense. Fair mm. one. Yeah, but it, there might be listen. There might be some games you, you might have been betting on Brentford for all I know. I don't know. I just I just know that you're not allowed to bet as a footballer. Anyone involved in the yeah. game's not allowed to bet. As I said, you've got inside knowledge. You 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 know who's playing, who's not playing. Uh, and you can imagine the betting industry. The betting industry pours a lot of money into football, whether people like it or not. I know it's getting banned from the shirt, but it's not getting banned from general advertising. And those betting companies will be will be will be putting pressure on the FA to say this we can't this can't be going on. The integrity of 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 the bets um, uh, is is completely um, you know thrown out the window. So it is one of those things, you know. It's 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 mad because you think of someone like Tony K, who played for Everton in the sixties. You know he got banned for life for putting one bet on a game. Banned for life. He was at the very yeah. peak of his career playing for Everton, and he got banned for life. He, he won the league title, with, I think, with Everton in sixty three. I think it was, and and for one bet he got banned for life. And you think, 
You think this is someone who's getting an eight-match ban? It's 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 nothing. It's nothing in the grand scheme of things, considering he's put over two hundred bets on. It's a bit mental, especially yeah. why. Why he's got enough money than sense already? Mm. Why does he need to bet more? Yeah. Mental. Yeah. Anyway, keep up with the work, boys. Cheers, oh, Will. Cheers, okay. The the fucking Premier Mike. Yeah, well, oh, yeah, well yeah, do. Yeah. Nice yeah. one, mate. Make sure, make sure your kitchen's not on fire. See you later. All right, cheers, Will. Bye. Salam, mate. Salam. 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 That was Will coming live from inside the submarine. He was in the submarine. Shut up, Ned. Um, if you'd like to call in, there's a link in the YouTube comments. It's not a phone number. It's a link that will take you over to Toffee TV Premier. Never mind. Um, right, so I'm show you the yeah okay. Let us know where you are, where you're watching from as yeah. well. Let's let's do that. Let's Will, do that. Will was Will was at the f- bottom of the Atlantic. He there. was just chilling, making. He was in the kitchen making stuff. Um, Cam says uh, Tony ban for eight months. Surely that's worth a punt in the summer. Cam knows on loan. It's a bad joke. Um, it's all good. Uh, Quinn J. And the reason I'm asking this is because. You, we do remember them, and I'm sure you picked them up. So, uh, do you lads remember Francisco Junior? Picked them up from uh, Rainhill train station mm-hmm. once and took them to his digs in uh, Whiston by the old fire station. I, re- I remember it, and I was like, I was looking at I, I was, you know, when, if you ever meet a footballer, you know instantly the footballers. There's something about their shape mm. that it, 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 it's not like, you know, like it's a proper athletic shape but even you know he was he was dead small mm. dead small but i just knew the minute i looked on i was like you're a football mm. and i was like oh i knew that kid is just signed forever mm-hmm. he ended up in did he end up in sweden he's playing in romania now oh top man so there you go uh, toby larone says leeds leicester southampton absolutely dreadful as are they we. are and we are aren't we in forester let's be honest we're all crap mm. which is why we're all struggling like any west ham are awful as well all of us are terrible which is why we're all down there <laughs> really um, Wanderlust says Leeds have been able to get an unlikely point there and stem the bleeding against City. Allardyce isn't Pep, he's a firefighter, but he's not a top tier gaffer or anything. Yeah, but they should have been done eight or nine at City. They just didn't take the chances. They were excellent against Newcastle, mm. as in battling and that. But then we've had positive results, haven't we? We've just gone to Brighton and beat them 5 1. Brighton have just gone to Arsenal and won 3 0. So what I would say to everybody is everyone who's flapping is Leeds drawing 2-2 with Newcastle United at home. A better result than Everton going to Brighton and winning 5-1. Because I know people I talk to who aren't Evertonians are like, you's a fine, you's a miles better than every one of them down there. And I'm looking going, we're not. We had a great result against Brighton and we played brilliantly. Doesn't mean Everton all of a sudden are getting six points out of two games. You see a lot of other fans going, well, Everton have got six points. They've got uh, Wolves with nothing to play for, Bournemouth with nothing to play for. And us as Evertonians sitting here going, yeah, we're getting six points. We're not, are we? We're going, can we get a win at Wolves? Can we you know, Can we beat Bournemouth at home? We've got nothing to play for. We're all down there because we're all crap and none of us have That's really true story. been able to put two wins together all season, have we? So... We'll see. Whatever happens will happen, obviously. Uh, wellness coach says, I'm concerned about the necessary change needed at board level. Look at how long Man United are trying to get the glazes out for. Uh, what more can fans do except point out the obvious? Well, we can't, but I think that, I think, I mean, the fans have done a lot, which has made that, made them sticking around very important, very, very unlikely. It's almost impossible. We've not been back to Goodison, have they, since before Christmas. Mm. Or Wolves, I think, was probably the last time they were at Goodison. Or Brighton, sorry, was the last time they were at Goodison. They've not been there since. The fans have done that. The fans have turned up and done protests brilliantly without without being aggressive or whatever. They've done the protest. They've gone in and supported the team. They haven't gone in and made it difficult for the team to play. So the fans have been uh, impeccable in how they've uh, protested against what they feel is enough is enough. And it, by doing that, people have got the message. Mm. There will be changes in the Everton boardroom in the next few weeks. The media will help that as well. Mm. The likes of 
Joe Tam- Joe Thomas at the Echo yeah. and other people in the national media, they'll 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 push to get push for these people to be out the football club because they can't continue at the club. They just they just can't. They're mm. doing a they've done a terrible job. It's not like I understand give the Glazers Glazers own Manchester United, it's different, isn't it? They own Manchester United and they're making a fortune out of Manchester United. That's why they're not willing to just let it go. I mean, mm. you've got bids now of around seven billion for Manchester United. That's why they're not willing to sell it right now because they're like, these two fellas are just going up and up and up and up, and they'll sell it when they think they're getting the maximum price. Mm. Maybe when one of them walks away, they'll go right now. Let's sell to the other one, but but we've got our seven million out of it. Evans a very different animal because the fellow who runs it clearly. Clearly doesn't know how to run a football club. No. Clearly doesn't understand the situation, um, and the people who run it at board level. Uh, now, if you don't get a name, they're not coming on. Yeah. So dead simple. Get a name, or they're not coming on. Dead um, simple. Dead simple. One job. Um, these people, uh, because they're we're all, we're almost saving them from themselves as well. Mm-hmm. If that makes sense, you mm-hmm. know, we we are. But we're 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 saying these people have got to go because they're going to destroy this football club. And and I just if they destroy the football club, then especially for people who are supposed to support the football club, yeah, it's mad. And the seller who's invested, um, no, sure fe- fellow who invest millions into it, then he's going to lose a lot of money. So they need saving for themselves. Uh, the blue says, "Oh, hello, Ned. Ha <laughs> ha! Didn't notice him in the corner." Uh, EFC Graham says, "Hello from Lanzarote. Hello, father." Have a good time in Lanzarote. Um, Matty Bush says nobody puts Ned in the corner apart from Ped. These are facts. Toby Lerone said Will Gregg sounds like he's in a nuclear bunker. He's in um, he's in Dingo he's with, in with Steve. Uh, Humphrey at October. No, he's oh. in where? It's Chernobyl. Oh, it's with Steve. <laughs> yeah, Steve wants to get to Chernobyl. We have got Pally from California. Pally from Cali. Hello. Hey, guys. Can Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah, we can hear you. So I wanted, I wanted to uh, uh, ask you this. I wanted to take you uh, back a few weeks uh, with the player selection when uh, when Sean Dice was playing uh, Michael Keane every game, but every single fan forum, basically to a man, was was saying not to playing and play Yeri Mina because we've been watching these players for well, how many years for Keane now? You know, four or five years, and mm-hmm. we've, even though we scored some important goals and that kind of thing, but he hasn't been a, cons- a consistent uh uh center half for the premier league and and every single fan forum was was basically crying out not to play him and he still did and eventually he did i don't know why and and we saw the result so i wanted to ask if there's a case to be made that that a that a manager especially one who's come in in the middle of the season and doesn't know the team as well should use the the fans as a as a resource to uh to uh to assess and should listen to what the fans are saying I, I would, I'd like him to because I, we right. know better than anyone. We've been doing this job for nine years, mm. five years full time, and I, like I can't sit here and say I get loads, like I get everything right because I clearly don't. And a lot of the stuff I tend to say comes from the heart rather than the head. Well, it certainly comes from the heart first before it gets to the head. But the amount of times that you just say things that we say things as fans that we look in the comments and we see similar uh, sentiments. It's incredible how stubborn people in football are. People in football, and this is the other thing about about what we've done in our doing this job is people in football think they are so clever and they are not. They are really not because what they have is they have this like level of football intelligence from one they played, but it doesn't always keep up with what's going on right now in in because they're supposed to understand all all the football. So you tend you get you get that in in the general media landscape of ex players, but when managers come in, you would expect them sometimes to come in and they have their favourites and they they think they know what they're doing, and and it, there is almost that stubbornness at times because there was clearly a stubbornness not to play Yeri Mina it was so obvious and it took an absolute horrific performance by Michael Keane 
to get Yerry Mina in. Now, I don't know whether you could use the the, the fan base as a resource because I think managers are then suddenly go, um, oh God, well I'm not really needed in that case. And I, and I know there can be times when football fans are a, a little bit mad. You know, there's been calls for Michael Keane to play up front and these kind of things. But there yeah, are, but there's this, I mean, yeah, yeah, go ahead. No, I was just going to say, but there are definitely times when we know as fans more than the manager does. And I, and I genuinely, I'm hand on heart, know that for a fact. We've been watching plays for five or six years. And we know what a player is capable of. Don't get me wrong, I'm not talking about like I'm not talking about like the ins and outs of football and the ins and outs of tactics. We just know because we go to the game every week. We're not stupid. Football fans aren't stupid on the whole. They watch players all the time, whether it be in the ground or on TV. And you get an you get it you get an understanding for a player and what he can do and what he can't do and his attitude and all these kind of things. And you know a player inside and out and you know and now and again, don't get me wrong, they surprise you. But certainly with something like Yeri Mina, we all knew he was our best our best centre back. We knew what had stopped them was his injuries. But we knew if a, if he was fit and we only had so many games left, then you might as well throw him in there. You put all those conclusions together and you get and you've got all the evidence to back it up. No one was saying, I'll oh, put Yeri Mina in first game of the season, he'll play every single game for you. Mm-hmm. What we were all saying as a fan base is Get him in there. There's only seven games left. And this fella who's in there now is is done his normal thing. Michael Keane comes into the team, has a couple of shaky games, then does all right for two or three games. Might do something really good. And everyone goes, oh, Michael Keane, oh, isn't he great? Because you, you want to like Michael Keane. And then suddenly you go, actually, he wasn't that good, was he? And then you just watch his confidence go... Just into the ground. Yeah, yeah. But it seems to be like he's he's making the same mistake. Then you know, we knew the same thing about Nathan Holgate and, and we knew that Nathan Pattinson Madison should play. We knew that he would he would come good. And uh we also know that that uh uh Mope uh is not really uh it doesn't really fit the, the style of, of, of play for Everton. Uh, and even uh, even if Ellis Dems is a younger player, he's not really young, what is he twenty two? Uh he well, he at least knows how to play off a of a shoulder of a of a defender and play mm. you know in between those make those runs. He makes much better runs into the into the box and into the empty space. Uh, uh then a big Mopai is like a ten. He, he comes he comes he comes towards you uh, almost to the middle of the pitch and mm. wants to pass it back to you and then make a uh, another a short run and, and pass back. He's not really a proper proper nine, but the the manager still sort of persists with him. And and you sit there watch this game and see him come on. You just don't understand what he's doing, and you wonder if he's watching the same game that that we're watching. You yeah, know? it's actually um, just before I pass on to Baz. It's actually when you just mentioned Mopa there. They're the ones that drive me mad. Yeah, they're the ones when they sign the players and everyone. You know, you're just like. What are you? What are you? Yeah. What are you doing? And it's like you, all these people, like a brain trust of all these people who make a signing, and you're just like, why are you doing that? That does not fit anything at this football club. And then, and then, lo and be, and then you, people like try to be intelligent. Go, oh no, they'll know something you don't. And you're like, no, I mean, I, I might. No, know. they won't. Yeah, <laughs> I might know. I might like, you know what I mean. I mightn't have every single uh, stat on this guy, but I know it's not going to work out. You just know. And I think, you know, and that could be even the manager. A lot of people felt that about Rafa Benitez. Like, uh, you know, I felt it about Frank Lampard when we didn't sack him in in November. I, I, to me, it was just like, uh, we're going to sack him at some point. I just know we are because yeah. we've watched the results. But they're the, they're the things in football where you're just like, why does it take all these dead, all these dead intelligent people? And yet they, they make weird, weird, uh, you know... Yeah, it makes you makes you just wonder if it makes you wonder if, if Sean Dice is he's obviously a good man manager uh, manager and he knows how to get the the team sort of to work hard and everything and I really appreciate that but you just wonder if he should be the if he's the manager for the future I'm I'm not really so sure seeing how stubborn he can be mm-hmm. and uh, he doesn't seem to be seeing the same things that the 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 fan mind type is 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 seeing and uh, you know so I, I just I just question it you know mm-hmm. but. But there you go. I have a couple of uh, two two questions more onto the fund. Go on, mate. I wanted to. So if so if if tomorrow I would I would buy twenty percent of of Everton and offer you guys a, a seat on the board, would you take it? Yes, absolutely. Because I am <laughs> a, a megalomaniac with a huge. I, with a huge I just ego. just give me like the the player side of it, doing the the stats and the scouting. <laughs> I'm happy with that. I don't want to be on the board. Uh, uh, okay, yeah. I'll do it. You, I know you don't. And then, and then, 
what one more so if if you were to pick your favorite uh, uh book about football and you can't pick a book uh by an everton player or about everton do you have a favorite book sort of historically about football about everton no not no, about not everton. about everton oh not about everton i love the carlos book oh okay I listened to Carlo's book yeah, on I love tape that. because he was our manager. No, but I love. No, no, it's good. It was um, I'll be honest. I don't actually think I've ever. Re- I'm not a massive book reader. I'll tell you that right now. But I think I okay. don't think I've ever re- read a book about a player who didn't play for Everton. I'm trying to think. Oh no, I read Roy Keane's book. I read Roy Keane's book. Um, I'm trying to think, but I can't think of any other one, anyone else's. And the only other sports person I've ever read, well, I mean, sports person is a loose term, but Bret Hart's autobiography is amazing. So, Oh, actually, Mick Rathbone, The oh, Smell Mick of Rathbone, Football, yeah. the two, of them, are, the two football, of them are Mick fantastic. Rathbone, that's good. One yeah. and two, they're fantastic yeah. books, they really are. They're brilliant, and they're not all just about Everton, they're just yeah, about his good. life. It's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Yeah. So that's worth a punt, definitely. Yeah, definitely. definitely. Cool, wonderful. So that's 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 my thing for today. I, I appreciate your uh, the work you're doing. I I enjoy it, and it's fun to be on the other side of the planet and <laughs> be able to get a little bit closer to uh, closer to what the the local fans are are thinking because you don't you don't have those opportunities no. nice uh, when you live so far away. So that's really appreciated. Nice See you, one. Pally. Nice Thanks one, for Pally. your call, mate. Take care. See I'll you now. Care. Bye See now. you, pal. Ta-da. Bye. Uh, I've just got a super, super chat. chat here. Never mind, super chat. Uh, Robert Jones, thank you very much for the super chat. Become a premier member. Never mind. Super the same chat. as your super chat, but thank you very much anyway for your super chat. It says the anxiety is getting to people. It's in our hands. We can beat Wolves. We can beat Bournemouth. That's all we need to focus on, a bit of positive. You're absolutely right, Robert. This is what I'm saying. I've seen... I've stopped like speaking about it now on like Twitter and stuff because I've seen so many people saying we won't get another point, but Leeds will get mm. six and Forrest will get this and Leicester are going to win their last two. And it's like, OK, so in your mind, what you're trying to do is cry it in and go, oh, we're never getting another point. But these teams are turning into prime Man City for the final That's two games. Um, let me just kind of just before we get Degs on. So we've been playing with them um, this new AI tool, um, where you just put videos into this AI thing and it spits out these little videos. But the titles are just hilarious. So if you see any shorts or TikToks or or um, Instagram videos with like mad titles, it's just because this thing spits them out. And we're just having a laugh. So I've just put one in from the I've just put one in from the from the Daily Live Extra this afternoon, and the first video, which has got a ninety nine score, so it must be good. Mm. And the title is Insider reveals club's shocking reason for top rated players departure. I can't wait to find out about that one. That was uh, <laughs> number two was the shocking truth behind Everton's youth <laughs> development program. Shocking <laughs> truth, I love it. Number three is Insider Insights: Shocking truth about Evans' horrific choices. Number four, the shocking truth about youth league sp- sports. You won't believe. <laughs> and that's a 24-second video. Um, I love it. Uncovering the shocking truth about a young football star. Um, I must, yeah. Uncovering the shocking truth about Premier League player loans. The untold secrets of Moise's risky signings. What you didn't know. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Um, number eight, behind the scenes of football finance has revealed insider insights on player profiles. Number nine, discovering the shocking truth why I'm leaving for a less emotional environment. What's that all about? It's a 16 second video. And number 10, insane football rule revealed what you didn't know about squad reductions. I mean, what? Where's <laughs> who's done this video? Because I do them all. What, what, That's that? basically it's a. 20 second video basically talking about a 20 man three squad opposed to a 21 man squad as opposed to a 21 man squad what is going on i don't even remember I can't oh say my god something. incredible incredible okay have we got dexy have we Dexie. yeah okay hi guys hello, hello dexy go on mate how are you doing oh, all right. a long time no no speed it is. i've been watching i've been watching so that's the main thing how um, are you mate yeah, I'm doing good actually. I am really doing well. Good. Um, all my bloods and everything. You know, I don't. I don't know what it is. It's just. Um. Well, anyway, we forget my health. Let's talk about. Okay. It. Go okay. on, mate. Um. What did you think about the back three and Patterson out wide? I thought it worked. 
yeah, I mean, it, it seemed to, it, it, it gave us a little bit more of a foothold in the game, didn't it? I do, I do temper that yeah. with the fact that City were three up and had took the foot off the pedal a little bit. Oh, but, of course they had. But yeah, it but did three, give us the ball. Solid, didn't they? Yeah. Well, Cody, yeah, Cody it, it, makes it, it a difference. Allowed us, yeah, he does. Yeah, well, it, it, him getting dropped it always worried me. I know, never understood why they dropped him to bring Keane in. Mm. I never got it. No. But there we go. But I just saw Patterson, it may be allowed Patterson uh, more time to get into the club and mm. actually get stronger without worrying so much on the defensive side and let him play a bit. Mm. Because he, because he looked a good wide front runner, didn't he? Didn't look too bad at all out mm. there. Normally, and I thought those yeah. those three at the back, they're our best three centre halves, aren't they? Yeah, I think. And the Yeri Yeri Mina, come on! If he doesn't get another contract for at least twelve months, two years, I, I think, don't think he's getting a new but, contract. No, he's next. not getting any. He's, he ain't he's getting gone. a new contract. Don't, don't, don't no, you think? Not a chance. It's a shame. It's a shame to allow a player that you know, if you can, he's obviously. An injury conscious sort of motivated player, isn't he? If I think if you can get the right man behind him, he'd be well motivated for this football club. I think I, I'll be honest, Dex. I don't think he isn't motivated. I think he, I think yeah. he'd love to play for Everton every week. But the fact is, yeah. his body doesn't allow him to. Hmm. So yeah, he's too. Yeah. You know, if there was ever situa- ever a situation if he turned round and said. I'll do a pay as you play in Everton with interest. They're great, but footballers don't do that. And he's yeah. he's no. just simply not played enough football, it's, it's, so he'll move probably on. Probably, yeah, you think it's the, a shame, isn't yeah. it? And the thing is, Degs, someone it's like so. Yerry Mina, he could probably go to Spain or Italy, nice warmer climates, yeah. which obviously will help his body. Um, yes, it, well, it does. Slightly, it? Get out. yeah, slightly, slightly less, less, less physical. Yeah, slightly less physical league, slower. bit slower, yeah. and he'll he will benefit massively from mm. that. And I know people, I think people don't realize how t- how intense the Premier League is because when you watch a game of football oh, yeah. in the Premier League, don't forget that's how you've got to train as well. Mm. So you've got to train all week at that oh, yeah. at that level to get you to that kind of fitness. So I, I think that's that's been the problem since before we had Daesh, because I think he makes them do that. Yeah. But maybe Frank didn't. Mm. But no. Frank, Frank was more concentrated on trying to play football mm. with 11 players that basically couldn't do what he wanted. Mm. Yet what Daesh has got them doing is a set of players who can play that style of football. Yeah. Mm. But I don't think he's going to take us forward. I think, I, I, I honestly believe that if backers come in, if we stay up, mm. I think he's gone. Quite, I mean, possibly. I'm, I'm in, I'm in two minds. I must admit, over Daish, I do think, I don't think he's not, he's not a press. Don't get me wrong, he's not a progressive guy who's going to like evolve us into something. But I also think that we shouldn't repeat the mistakes of the of the past. No, where we've had. He's a pair of safe hands. He's, he's stability. He's stability. We mightn't like it. Some people mightn't like yeah. the football, but he is. It, there is something very stable about him, and the football mightn't be great, and he might he might sort of in the short term stop maybe some youngsters from coming through. But I do think for the sake of the actual football club, I think he might just be this, a stable pair of hands that can get us through these troubled times. Because no matter what happens, the next twelve months are going to be um a bit are going to be topsy turvy with the stadium and. We- with with buying players and 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 obviously um, all these you know going to the FA Commission and all these kind of things, it's going to be it is going to be st- it's not you know avoiding relegation is not going to be the end of our problems. We're gonna have we're gonna have other problems in the next twelve oh, God, months. Yeah. Massive mm. massive problems. The, the club's in a hell of a mess, mm. and it uh, it needs. I I I I think the the the, the it's sorted on the football front. And what I mean by that is the academy seems sorted now, doesn't it? Um, you know, maybe they've got the right people in the right jobs doing the right things now mm. there. Um, so maybe we are, you know, we've been patient with that. Um, but we still seem to be, it, we're going to have to put up with until we get further up in the league or make Europe. 
Mm. And this is the difficult part, isn't it? We're going to have to get used to as fans buying bargain, bargain basement footballers. And unfortunately, the last one we bought, Mr. Mope. <laughs> But the thing um, about him is, though, Degs, we could have got a lot better quality for the same money. Yeah. We just don't, our system is poor that we use. It, we use it, this uh, system of like, oh, have you ever played in the Premier League? Yeah, oh, we'll give you a go. But, you know, Baz and, and Andy and, and these other people have been telling us for a, a long time about all these people that are out there that Brighton are getting their hands on and, and it's, or other clubs are getting, and we don't go for them. We don't take, we don't take calculated risks. So, no. there are players out there. Uh, I just didn't. I never understood why we got him. No. I knew he was crap from the start. <laughs> I, I did. Yeah, yeah, everybody yeah. knew no, he was rubbish. Yeah. Um, and I mean, the last player we had of his ilk to play for Everton was Tony Cotty. And there's no comparison, is there? Mm. No, well, Cotty was a penalty box striker, wasn't he? Come alive in the box yeah, and got well, your well, goals. Mo, Mo, does Mopay know where the penalty box is? Oh, was he 10, isn't he? He. he he just drops off no, into spaces. I'm sorry, he? no, he, nope. he's a zero. Yeah, I know, but, he, but he, he, what I mean is he occupies those play, those well, spaces. I thought, that, I, I thought the number 10 was the playmaker. Well, he is, sorry, yeah, but what I, I mean won't. is he's a split striker. In the old days, he's the fella who play I'd up with the big him. man, wouldn't he? I'd find a way of splitting him, I'll tell you. Honestly. Fair play. Uh, I've always thought I just think he, I think he's a disgrace... He's a, he's he's a, a, but I don't put. But Degs, Degs, it's it's important though not to actually put take that out on the player yeah. for the club's poor poor. Um, yeah. oh, not, no. not his fault, yeah. is it? He yeah, he just but, doesn't uh, fit I mean, in at Everton, does he? That's all. Degs, let me ask you a question while you're on. Yeah. Let me yeah. ask you a question. So you've you've seen the Ivan Tony thing, haven't you? All right. Is it eight months? Eight months. Eight months. Right? Eight months. Eight months. Yeah. So let me just ask you a question now. So right. Does that include close season? Yeah, it does, it does. But it doesn't really matter, does it? But let me just ask you a question, because I'm not insulting your your uh uh your, you know not being ageist or anything. But you no. you I imagine you were around when Tony K got banned. Yeah, for life. Right. So I mean ha- like, you know so but, but Tony what's the difference? Tony K better than one game, didn't he? Yeah, one well, he was caught out on one game, wasn't he? Okay, he was caught out, and he was. That's when he played for Sheffield Wednesday, wasn't he? Yeah, and then and, and, and Sheffield offloaded him to us, knowing what was going to happen. Nothing. So, how many times did he wasn't play it, for Everton? Right? How many times did he play for Everton before he got actually banned? Wasn't it like not seven, many seven, at all? Was it? No. Was it less than ten games? Was it? But he got a. Did he not? He got a. Did he get a league title in sixty three? Well, I was only four then. So come on, De- Dex, come. Yeah, but, but you've got all. You've had all this time to research this question, though. Yeah, no. It, <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, yeah. What you mean since the announcement? Yeah, no, yeah. since you were four. So you've Tony had all... K played fifty-seven yeah. times for Everton, okay. scoring four goals. Times. He won the league in sixty-three. Yeah. yeah. And then, I mean, he was always rated as one of the best. Oh, he was. Generation, he was. But he got a. He, he so, not only was he know, thinking, he went to prison. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a very, very yeah. serious thing. Hmm. Well, I, I, I don't... Uh, you know, the way that they're, they're supposed to be clamping down on betting in football, mm. aren't they? Yeah. And... Uh, it was banned for life and they'd be shunned at the seven get, years later. He, I mean, Cantona just... He jumped in the crowd, didn't he? Mm. He didn't get eight months, did he? Uh, he got, got no. He, it was no. Hang on. No, yeah, it probably was because it was like January, wasn't it? It was January till... till... And Ferdinand got... Eight months from it was January drugs, till you know, uh, September, if I remember. Oh, I, I, I've got to be honest because uh, it's not something I've really thought about this Tony thing because mm. I think it, as soon as he was charged, he shouldn't have been allowed to play. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Uh, and they've known he's guilty, haven't they? He, well, he's he didn't argue the point, did he? Yeah, well, it's one of those things, isn't uh, it? Listen. He didn't score no, against. But, he didn't score against those this season. Effect, but he's but he's affected Brentford's league position. Yeah, he has. Listen, no, he, no, has, he, has, yeah. he has. But what can you do? To be fair, the way the rules are written for the Premier League are 
things like this can't really you can't really affect what goes on in the season so there are rules in place so that basically if you get punished anything it affects you going forward not really backwards and and that's yes. what will be interesting because this was done by an independent commission and it might be slightly different for us or Manchester City with the bans and all that but typically it's a case of they'll do so they'll they'll they will punish you for future events rather than past events because you don't do you want think the club didn't the club will drop him no would you their best striker, well, mate. No, I I wouldn't. But mm. I mean, uh, there's there's other players done other stuff. They've just been dropped like stones, haven't they? Yeah, but yeah. they've got they've never got, been given second chances. They've got Mbuemo. They've got Wisher. They've got uh, Kevin Chiada, who they got in from Germany, the quick yeah. one. So they've got players you can can cover while he's out, and then he'll be back in January, and it'll be the slate will be yeah. clean for him, won't it? Yeah, so I'd nah, be all right. Yeah, he'd be all right. Don't worry about it. No, he's yeah. all right. He's fine. Uh, no, got a place. They, 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 you know, I, I made up for a club like Brentford to, to have done what oh. they've done. But what he's done is everybody knows in football that you can't bet. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Uh, and as, as soon as he started doing it, he was breaking the laws. Yeah. He deserved everything he's got. Yeah. In my yeah. eyes, he should he should have lost the season. Okay. Maybe more. I'd lock him up for life. Okay. Well, you know, <laughs> I'd, I'd just make, make him play for Evan. I'd make it. I, well, I'll tell you what mm. could be worse. I'd make him wear Mopey shirt. Yeah. Take, you know I mean? take over from Mopey. No one wants that. That. Should be, that should be his punishment. No one wants that. Oh, do, do you think, uh, how are we going to get rid of the guy? How long has he got on a contract? I know what I'd do, right? I'd put him in a little cardboard box, drive him to the middle of nowhere. Dump him out the car and Full just Toy drive, Story. just to have a way. Like yeah, because then he can have yeah. like a little nice little song like Jesse did. Mm. Yeah. No, he, listen, he'll move on. He'll move on to Italy in the summer. Gonna, good, good luck to the yeah. kid. Italy. He will. He'll go to Salonatana, something like that. I yeah, he'll probably go to. I thought he was opening like um, an ice cream shop. Maybe he will. <laughs> Maybe he will. Yeah. Who knows? Well, he's, he's ice cold on the pitch, and he's oh, yeah. as well. Ice cold, yeah. And, yeah, but uh, you, yeah, I just uh, mind baffles. But uh, what about our lad at uh, um, PSV? We've got to keep him, haven't we? Got yeah. to. Got so to. So does that mean that he's going to get Yeri Mina's place? Then do you think? Well, uh, you'd hope so, but whether he will, who knows? <clears throat> you know, I know the Dutch league is totally different than our league, but PSV are some. They they are a good team, aren't they? They're not like they're doing well. They're yeah, not like go ahead. They're not like go-ahead Eagles mm. and, and uh, Utrecht and put teams like that. PSV are a proper football club. Standards. Standard-wise, yeah. do you know mm. what I mean? It's given they, a good ground, play, hasn't it? Yeah, I think it's been a great loan for him, mm. you know. Because mm. if, you, if you're going to get close to the Premier League, not not pace-wise, yeah, but passion-wise, Holland's the place to be, I think. But also, I think people yeah. want him to be come back and almost be the finished article, and he's not going to be the finished yeah. article. You know, he's, he, he is, he's only a kid, yeah. yeah. So, so, Tarkovsky is the finished article now. I, I, so. I, I, th- I think, I think the, the, there was few games. Was it about six games? He, he, he came straight into the side from Carlisle. Mm. Didn't look out of place then, did he? Really? Played, yeah, he played the last few. Played about the last three or four games, didn't he? Or yeah, part of I the thought, games. I thought, I thought, where we, you know, yeah. this this lad's a class act, yeah. and he does. He has got something about than, him. Yeah, he's got. I think he's better than John Stones ever was. Oh, I'm not sure about that. That's a that's a bold statement. You've gone bold, Dex. You've no, gone bold. No, bold. I, I like bold. I like safe, bold. As a safe centre half. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll see. Okay. We'll okay. see. We'll yeah. see. John, Joe, John Stones hasn't ripped up sledges. It. I don't know why yeah. you would rip up no, sledges. I mean, sledges aren't anti-sledge. Things, I think, when, when why I think would you be anti-sledge? But I don't know. I just don't like snow. <laughs> That's all right. Fair I never enough. Like snow. I'm only I'm only small. You see, I usually yeah. get buried in the stuff. That's all right, Dex. No, no, no problem. You go. Yeah, no problem. No, I don't know. I don't know where that came from. I then. don't know, Dex. But Dex, uh, I like it. I like don't, it. Don't overthink it. Yeah, no, it's don't. a new, it's a new one. It's, it's a, a new, new term. Yeah. We'll don't overthink it. Yeah. Uh, nice one. Yeah. Listen, Dex. Nice okay, one. So nice so one, I, mate. I will go because I, I know I've been waffling on. <laughs> You're all right, next, Dex. Look after yourself, mate. We got one No, we haven't got. We'll wait till the end of the season. You will now. Don't worry. Let's get this season done. Then we can organise it. And we'll get one sorted. And we'll all meet up and have a good night. This season, yeah. yeah. No. We, need, we need something, don't we? We do, nice mate. Maybe we can play 
climb the crane or something like that. Again, again, uh, other things euphemism. are available. I don't know. <laughs> nice one, Dex. <laughs> Dex, take care. Bye. <laughs> bye. Bye. I like to chuck one in there, guys. You know, you he's getting really himself in all kinds of trouble. He's said. ripping up sledges. He's climbing cranes. He's splitting people. <laughs> I don't know what the heck he's been on, but whatever the feeding him in that, uh, whatever he's smoking in that, that home, then fair play to him. Uh, Eugene says hello. I'm watching from Northern Ireland. Uh, McCourt runs is in the kitchen making the kids dinner. Fair play. Oh, wow. Toby Lerone's in a Bermuda Triangle. A uh, wellness coach, Ontario, Canada, originally from Ireland. Uh, Roy Nixon is in the French countryside. Doing what? Watching us. But doing this, what? Though? This is rebuilding a chateau. He may be, maybe, yes. Uh, guess who is watching? He's a scouser in Newcastle. Says the worst in Copites. Uh, the Bush, Matty, Matty Bush, watching from Sunny Swan. Uh, the captain's in Saint Helens. Adrian is in Donegal. Um, iconic football shirts in Crocs. Danny Cathcart is in Saint Helens. Mm. Uh, is there anyone else? Scott Blunt is in the US of A. I mean, that's a big place. Uh, Where about? Um, okay, I don't know. Where you born? Me. Posh Matty is uh, in the Cotswolds. That's why he's Posh Matty. Uh, Robert Evans, he's a Premier member. He's in East Kilbride. Uh, Robert Workman is watching from Vienna. I was going to say, did they have kickoffs with, up, with yeah. um, West Kilbride? Possibly. And who's in Vienna? Uh, Robert Workman. Oh, that means nothing to me. It's gone there. It's gone full Ultravox on me. Uh, done that one. Oh, my God. Ned. i see anyone else. The aspect ratio. Oh, are the references. You are a tit. Sorry. Bro. I mean, there was a question before. Do you think Ped will have a go at Ned? There what? you go. We've had. There was. There was. From Scott. Will Ned be blamed for something? So there you go. You've had, to, you've had to wait till ten past six, but it happened. Uh, Michael McNee is in. Uh, McNamee, even, sorry, is in Dublin. Have you done it? Um, oh, I'm just Brian Cox. Robert Jones is, is a scouser one? watching from Oxford. Is it the one from Succession or the one who does Look at the Sky? No, he's from Clan No, but his name's Brian Shabba Cox. Shu is watching from Hawaii. Paul Lennon, Toki, Celtic Vape Island. Uh, Ramai 9L. Jay from Leicester, a Leicester fan, but likes Everton. Never mad. There you go. Uh, Michael Lowe is in Toronto, Canada. Oh. Moved from Liverpool. Um, Why else is Toronto? Yeah. I want to go to Canada right? after watching Race Across the World. Looks some ass. Canada's amazing. Looks some, I mean, because how many times have you been there? I nearly went and played there, mate, as you know. <laughs> I nearly but went and played I did. You went to the Toronto Emeralds many moons ago. But, um, yeah, no, I've wanted to go to Canada for years. Never Looks mad. lovely. Canada. Never mad. It. Who's this? His name is Fella Coldplay because the scientist. Because his name's Brian Cox. <laughs> the Al Clark's watching from Jamaica. Jed M is watching from Prague. Yes, we're all over the place. I love it. We're all every corner. Oh, just like, every just like, just like globe. Michael Keane's defending. We oh. are all over, over the, the place. <laughs> Sometimes. Um, hello, Brian Cox. Are you okay? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, yeah, Brian, on, Brian, we can hear you. Hey, how are you doing, lads? Um, just like to say, I've just joined the Patreon. Good content on there if anyone's interested. Put out there. Nice um, work, man. But what I wanted to talk about was um, just the recruitment, really, mm -hmm. of the club. And I think it gets a lot of stick, and don't get me wrong, in the past it has been horrendous. But when you look at Frank Lampard came in, 4 3 3, possession, he had the idea. Mm -hmm. And he brings in Connor Cody, ball playing centre back. Uh, you know, more pay, deep line forward. He gets so much stick. I think, who, who was it that was just on before it? Dexy. Dexy, yeah. Slating him. <laughs> um, I mean, for 15 million quid, I don't know what you're expecting, but he can keep the ball somewhat well. But it is that 4-3-3 with that almost false nine striker. They brought in James Garner. I've, I've been an advocate for him from the start. So good on the ball, just looks wise. And then I didn't actually realise how quick he was, but I've mm. seen him track back a few times. He's also got a bit of, you know, physical knack about him. Mm. But um, for, for me, I can see the idea was there. And then you can't predict. But 
you'd like to think they would know better that Frank was going to fail, but who knew? But he failed, and that now it's just a complete flip, and none of these players, apart from Onana, really, who you know can do both. He's good playing end to end football, and he's good on the ball. It's just flipped, and now we, we're suffering from it. The, the flip from possession to Sean Dyke's football, mm. it's just hit us like a truck. Well, let me just let me just put in just for one sec, but I, cause I, I do have to take yeah. the task a little bit on the mop, I think. We needed, yeah. we needed Frank Lampard. I, I get what you're saying. You know, we want to play this possession type of football, I get that. But to play possession type of football, you'd have to have a centre forward who A, occupies defenders, and B, will keep over the ball for you. And C, is an out ball. Neil Maupai isn't any of them. He doesn't occupy anyone. I disagree. I I played up front it, and I so I watch foot I watch my strikers probably more than any other position on the pitch. Um he doesn't keep the ball well at all. He drops into spaces into little pockets, but he ends up in our half when our wingers are on the edge of the box. And he's never in the penalty area to 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 get on the end of stuff. I get he's He's never going to win headers. I'd never have a go with him for that's not his game. He's, he's bloody my size. You can't expect them to be beating centre backs six foot three in the Premier League in the air. I'd never ever have call him for anything like that. I wouldn't even call him too much for dropping and trying to pick the ball up. But I do really find it a problem when my centre forward is 30 yards outside the box when we're putting crosses in because that should be his bread and butter. What Frank Lampard or Kevin Thelwell or whoever, whoever, whoever on Everton's recruitment team should have done was gone and got another striker the similar attributes to Dominic Calvert-Lewin and they were around Serhau Garassi who scored again the other night in Germany he was available for, for cheaper than, than Neil Maupai six foot three, big and strong wanted to come, stopped training for a couple of days to force the move through there was um, Bamba Deng who uh, Frank pulled the plug on as well He's over six foot. These are the t- if we'd have gone for one of them and it wouldn't have worked the same. I would have had some sympathy for Frank, but when you go for someone who's almost totally the opposite of Dominic Calvert Lewin, it doesn't make any sense. And then he was asked, and I, and I asked them the same question when they interviewed him: was Is there a plan to play Calvert Lewin and Maupai? Mm. And he said no. So. They've either gone yet, yeah, we're trying to get the two of them and Maupai's going to occupy that area, what you've been talking about. Had they gone, oh, well, all right. At least he's, he must be thinking one will drop off, one will pin them back. But it wasn't. It was almost like he's like for like when he's anything but. But all the other stuff you said, I kind of agree. We were, we were set up to try and play a type of football that the manager wanted. It's totally the opposite to what Sean Deitch wants to play. I'm not, I'm not calling Deitch the way... Everton are playing football under them because I think at times it's been sound. The Brighton performance was excellent. Played some great football at Brighton. I think we've struggled at home under them. I don't think we've quite worked out how to play under them at home yet. But then there's been a couple of occasions. Brentford, first half, tremendous. Should have been three up, dropped off a bit. Arsenal at home, I thought we were excellent. Albeit both of those sides are better than us and we had to dig in a little bit. Leeds' performance wasn't too bad. But well, You're right. Just, there just, is cutting a in on, just cutting in on that yeah, Brian on. performance. Yeah. It was just a class example of just playing like a spring. You know, yeah, you absorb yeah. all that bright and pressure. You yeah. let their full bikes come up and it was just but I mean th- the difference was we were clinical in that game. Mm. Yeah, that's usually absolutely. We, we don't we don't take on <laughs> But no good good point on the thing, but just when the way Frank played it was he liked his forward deep he wanted to drag a man in he, he had his wingers out high and wide and then he wanted you know it's vinagre the vinagre signing that got it for me mm. he's he is pretty much a winger i don't know how they've molded him into a a wing back mm. but defensively but the idea is especially with patterson on the other side he was similar sort of profile but a bit better defensively mm. was they push up and you've almost got this sort of inverted winger, like ball through. You got like a little triangle going on between the two wide players, and then lower was more play. And then 
either one of the wingers cuts inside from there, man. But it just, every time I saw him try and do that, it was just a failure, and, you know. But anyway, and then I just wanted to have a little rant about that. Yeah, On to the future. I was just wondering what's your opinions and takes on, you know, keeping Deitchin and mm. any manager preferences you have? Um, I personally would, if Everton were relegated, I'd change the manager. I don't think there's any guarantee he gets Everton out of the, the championship. Um, I think Everton need a whole rethink. But I think if I think if Everton stay up, I think it'd be very harsh to to sack him. I do because I think he deserves. I know. I, listen, I lot of I'm not his biggest fan by any stretch of the imagination. However, he's been since he come in. He hasn't really had a moment to breathe, has he? He's mm. come in and Everton were, Everton was sinking, weren't they? Let's be honest. His first game was Arsenal. He was top. We were, we were just, we just been beaten by Southampton and West Ham. He's not had a moment to do any kind of plan, and it's just been one thing after the other. I think he, if he kept Everton up, he would, he deserved that moment in the summer where he mm-hmm. could start planning to move forward. My worry with Sean Dyke, and it might be totally unfounded and I might be wrong here, it's just the younger players' side of it. I want the likes of Jared Brantway to be part of this yeah, Everton you know, side. Isaac Price, Other you know. people, exactly so. And as we move forward. Yeah. But again, he might sit here and go, well, I just haven't had that opportunity to really plan with that because right now we need yeah. to get wins. So I, I kind of well, I kind of get it. But if we went down, we'd have to change stuff. Players. Sorry, go on. You can't fault. I mean, you know, your back's against the wall against yeah. relegation. You yeah. can't expect him to take a risk exactly, yeah. on an under 21s player. But, mm. you know, in the future, even when this is where this, the cycle you could see continues, I'm at the point now where I, I'd be obviously gutted if we got relegated. But I feel like it wouldn't even be the worst thing for our club. Mm. It would mean a total overhaul. You could get, you could, I'm not saying you can exactly replicate a Burnley move, but you could bring in a, a younger manager. Mm. There's plenty out in Germany at the moment, you know, mm. even Austria. There's Davide Ancelotti, I'm pretty sure, who was linked with us. You know, you could build something there with like say, James Garner, you know, young players, people like Onana, they're going to leave their mm. incredible ceiling. But I feel like if we just keep on nipping it and just, you know, clenching 16th, 15th. Mm. I don't see, uh, I don't see a steady rise. Mm. So, because the trend has just been, you know, a steady downfall really for us at the moment. But yeah, yeah that's all I really wanted to talk about. So, cheers, bye. No problem, Bri. Cheers, man. cheers for Make sure you come back on, mate. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Cheers, Take mate. it easy, Bri. See you later. Have a good one. Where are you calling cheers. from, Brian, by the way? Um, just outside Sandin, no North Wales. His name, yes, his lad. Name, his name's Bryn. Look, Bryn. Why have you put Brian then? Because Brian's I'm the put... English translation. Of... Well, it's Bryn, oh, isn't it? sorry, Bryn. Well, Ned has oh, Ned, oh, Ned, Ned put... Brian's you off. Classic yeah, Ned, mate. Classic Ned. Brian. Classic Ned. He's... I typed in the chat. I was like, "What are you calling me, Brian for?" Yeah, because he's we we've got I like a TV here yeah. which tells you the name yeah, of people. Now he's so he made oh, us look right, stupid. Right. So you mad? That's Ned for you, mate. You know he is what he is. Well, take it easy, Bryn. Lovely part it's of the bit, world there. Take care, yeah. mate. See you later. Sure. What was his name? Dave Coaches? Yeah. Classic Ned. Classic oh, Ned. Classic Ned. So disrespectful to people. Yeah. The way, he's just, I felt like that's been disrespectful to the whole of Wales. Not really. What I, it is, is no, 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 what it is. And this is, I'm being yeah, yeah. absolutely yeah. serious here. It's disrespectful to everybody, including, this is his job. Yeah. And he's going on messing around with yeah. people's things. So that's un- people's lives. Unprofessional. Really it's unprofessional. It's, it's unprofessional, mate. He's probably as, as hated as much as the King is in Wales now. I think. Who brain? No, no you. No you. you Ned. Matt you. is watching from Iowa in the USA. Ooh, he's checking Caulfield. Um, Mo Awada's watching from Riga in Latvia. Ooh, nice. Top man. Um, from there? Let's have a little look here. Let's see if there's any other ones. Uh, Toby says Bryn means hill in Welsh. That's go. also true. There you, go. you don't know. That. You don't know. You do, couldn't even get the. That. You couldn't even get the fella's name right. So Bryn means hill. Um, 
Everton Viking says it's Ned, an alternate universe. Joe does designs. <sighs> Who'd win out of a fight? I Joe would have him everywhere, mate. Let's Who's be honest. Joe just he'd life coach him. Yeah, he'd bits. life coach him I'm all over the gaff. But he'd have him all over the place. Uh, Brad Hancock says, yeah, do you think we'll have European nights again within the next five years? Um, I mean, anything's possible, considering that where Leicester are and where they were a couple of years ago. You know, if you can just reverse it's that. difficult to say now, isn't it? Difficult to see mm-hmm. how it could happen, but it, it, it could if Everton started to turn the thing around. But mm-hmm. it's at what point does that start, isn't it? Mm. Crimson says uh, Crimson Viara says only Ned would translate someone's name exactly yeah. Matty Booth says for fuck's sake Ned uh, Basic Trick says Ned is the Stefan Vessels of the channel is he that good? Stefan Vessels had good hair he did no that's something I think, I think we're forgetting my name not even Ned that's yeah, but like you've no, got, you've, got, you've built a persona yeah, that's a, back that's a, that. that's all a... that's done is done you good yeah. Yeah, in your life, yeah. if you'd have been Matty with one yeah. tree, no one would no have been one interested. Would you? Oh, that's it. Like, no one I know you. I choose to use my real name. Someone stopped me in the street what? before and went, say, Oh, yeah, started watching you. He went, say, What's your name? And I went, Peter. And he went, No, no, you know, your show What's business your stage? name. Honestly, stage that's name. what he said. <laughs> I was like, Paddy, yeah, that's it. Someone, someone that said that to me, I, I was singing and they knew it was I'm off, off, off of this. I, I, no one I, I, knew and you were. He did. And he said, Is Matty your stage name? He said, No, my name's Matthew. He was like, because he, like, he was said he was watching me and thinking I was someone else or something, because because my name was Matty. No, then you'd just be like a normal human, wouldn't you? And and why would anyone want to be a normal Ned's human? Ned's a, a normal human. It's not though, is it? Ned's Ned. There's something. There's something. Cre- cre- there's something creepy about that, Ned. Um, let's have a look at some of the comments. Um, Danny says. I second that, Ped. Bret Hart's autobiography is a great read. The writing style is uh, excellently executed. It is excellently executed. And it's a great book, actually. Bret Hart's autobiography. It's a really interesting insight into his vices and also what happened to the British Bulldog and Jim Neithart. And I'm I'm really, really sad that all was. Um, Montreal screw job. No, no. It, uh, what have I just said? I said not wrestling stuff. Literally just said that. I think that's more of a life thing, though, isn't it? Cause it Gareth the- Adams says, Hey, you guys, very much in the style of um, a Goonies shout out there. Not football related, but I'm going to Butlins this weekend and f- in, and Fancy Jess has been forced on me. Is it acceptable as a non Liverpoolian, we don't call ourselves Liverpoolians, we just call ourselves Scousers, mm. to go as a Scouser? No, no, it's not. But you know, our culture is not to be, not to be laughed at, not to be trifled. And what would you go as? What would you wear? Would you just have a Montrix top on and a pair of ons? Oh, I'm not having this, by the way. Go on, I don't, I don't know what it is. So I can't, don't know. Posh Matty Ned is the Paul Rudd of Trophy TV. No. Paul Rudd's no. great. Paul Rudd Are you messing? Paul, Paul Rudd's Rudd tremendous. Is Paul Ned Rudd. is the Gunther like of Trophy TV. As well. yeah. Paul, oh, don't be stupid, the Paul Rudd. Mm. In what context? Yeah. In what role? Ned in Welsh is Edmund. There you go. There you go. Ed, Ned in um, Icelandic is Cochnacher. It is, actually, when you look it up. Mm. But that's fair that's enough. Really? Mm. Oh, <laughs> no, you got to be careful because um, Degs, he might want to split you. Yeah. You're just making words up now. Not making words up. Cock rocker. Cock knocker. Cock knocker. Yeah. No. Have you not heard of a cock knocker? That's not. That's not Ned in Iceland. It is. Danny no. Staples says uh, he's read Bret Hart's autobiography and it's great. No, I just read that. Oh, did you read it? Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. It's an echo, one not you? There is an echo of that. Well, this is normally what happens, but we say it here and yeah. Ned just repeats it. Yeah. Um, Brian Cox and his name was Bryn. I bet you the second name's not even Cox. Ned is terrifying, isn't he? It'll be something like Bryn Cockles. He is terrifying. Because <laughs> his dad was a... Was, oh, so Brian, he's got his own channel, so I think. Well, he's this? Ned. He said, I only tune in for Ned. So he's got his own channel. Yeah, uh, Ned and Cam Ned, chat. Never, the so you and the other two yeah. people who watch it, you can all buzz off. The content ah. never ends on that channel. Oh, it's so there. So much. It's there every you week. You uploaded a live video before and all it was was yeah. a baby monitor. <laughs> 
<laughs> Even um, Cam's been them. Cam's just like, yeah. Just, it's just sh- Ned Chat's one. Cam's a family man now. Family it's man. Ned Chat's one. Family man chaps. Maybe that's what you could do. Be like a dad podcast. That'd be all We're right. We're both yeah. of you talk about the yeah, complexities yeah, yeah. of being a dad in the modern age. Mm. I've got, I've got I mean, you'd have to become a dad really first, Ned. You'd have to have sex. <laughs> have we passed the water <laughs> yet? But not. Somewhere. Somewhere we are. Somewhere we are. Um, it's nine o'clock somewhere. Ben Diggley's gone really positive. Ben, that's not a real name. Ben Diggley. Ben Diggley. Ben Diggley. I'm just doing an ad, I'm not saying anything. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's gone really positive towards the end of the show. I think Wolves will batter us, to be honest. <laughs> Needs a hope Bournemouth go easy in the last game. Okay. Fair play. Fair play What if Wolves do, do batter us, but we win? Yeah, that'll be all right. A smash and very much grab. Mm-hmm. Uh, Michael James says, can we stop the juggernaut that is at the Triori? He's crap. Yeah, he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a complex player, isn't he? I think he's a pony footballer. He's a complex footballer. Mm-hmm. Just fast. Well, so is Demario Gray. They're going to oil him up on the game. It's going to slide right through us. Oh, fair, fair play, Michael. You've gone very graphic there. <laughs> Carla says, uh, Ped, how much fun did you have watching Eurovision the other day? I mean, can't, why isn't, can't, Baz? No, but you, you were the flag bearer for Eurovision. I was just in the background going, yeah, it's Baz. Lots of fun. It was good times. It was just good times. It's no need, I don't know how anyone can be mm. down on it. Yeah, it was good. It's dead. All you got to do is start from a level of not being serious mm. and then go, this is just a fun thing to yeah, watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And watch it. I mean, it was boss. Hannah Waddington speaking French. Who mm. knew that would be so good? Mm. Um, it was It was, It was. was just good, wasn't it? It was good, fun entertainment for yeah. four hours. Take your, you know. Take your out your normal. You got a little bit of like, mm. oh, I don't want this to win or I want that to win and. Loads mm. of pantomime kind of How could you have not loved Cha Cha Cha? I mean Cha 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 How could you not have loved that? How could you not love that? How could you not love his Portuguese in Portuguese? Poland. Uh, Poland, sorry. Poland. The French woman. The French How could you not love the but Belgium's version of Boy Belgium George? Was boss. Tremendous. Belgium was boss. It was just tremendous. Bit of, bit of Ours was terrible. Cock rock. Ours was absolutely cha, terrible. Cha, cha. Yeah, it was amazing. Um Phil Higgins says, great also, show, as usual. Look forward to being safe at the weekend. That's also, it. the um, the kid from Iceland doing the hole again was amazing. Hole again, mm. mixed in with like Tetris. Mm. We can back when we mm. first yeah. met. I cannot yeah. escape and I cannot forget. There you go. I mean, so that's basically how... That's Toby Lerone says, Hannah Waddington is so, so, so fit. I don't th- think she's like she's like an Amazonian she's woman. She's like isn't yeah, she? just like she's the, like she is like she's she's like I wouldn't say she's fit, but she's got a no 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 no. Hear me out. She's got like a proper like you look at her and you just you hypnotized almost mm. by her. She's dead tall and you're just like wow, what a woman. She looks powerful, isn't she? Oh, she'd crush you. She would. No, I don't. He would crush you, I don't my think friend. She looks strong. I mean. She no, no, like I am saying she's lady. strong. She would crush you. She, looks like she would get friend. you between her thighs, and she would crush you. She would cut you in half. Not full Mark, James Bond. Did need a baby monitor for you. I mean, you clearly haven't seen Golden Eye, have you? No, he hasn't no, seen yeah. Golden Eye. He He's seen a Golden Eye, but that's a different story. Um, I know. I know. Triori. Gets baby oil all over himself. Oh. We we are well aware of it. Well aware of it. Um, Hen FC four five six as UK song bottom two relegated. Yeah, it was dreadful. Dreadful it was. Um, you can all again. There you go. Um, Crimson says if Eurovision had leagues, I may be tempted. Imagine a sing off for promotion. Well, they do have semi finals. There's only five countries guaranteed in the we, final. We literally know that Cha 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 was Finnish. We know. Seen his sauna on Saturday month. I know someone said Cha 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 was Finland. Yeah, oh, we what know. What did we say it was? No, we were just saying all yeah, the good from songs. Finland. from Finland. Cha Cha Cha. Yeah, it was amazing. From Finland. Looks like Home Parks. He did look a little bit like Home Parks, but he doesn't like Dice anywhere near as much as Home Parks. Uh, Crimson VRS said that she'd split Ned. Right down the middle. With a cha-cha-cha. 
French. You speak in French, though. Oh, magnifique. Mm. Magnifique. Steve Kenneth Gore says to sack Deitch if we stayed up would be the most ridiculous decision in the history of English football. Now, that was to employ Rafa Benitez as Everton manager. Um, I, I don't think they'd sack him, but then if, if the club's bought out, they might want their own person in anyway, I might think, he? I don't think he's the hero we want, but I do think he's the hero we need. Mm-hmm. But if they went down, I'm just saying I don't. I think he would be moved on. But I also don't think he's... A guarantee that he'd get us up, but I do understand that he would. I think he could be, uh, he could keep Everton stable while he was trying to move forward. But who knows? Who knows, eh? Um, but yeah, know. That's, that's any more sh- callers then? No, no, no. okay, well, we're, then. Done. I think we're done. Sophie then, says, if Dom is fit, I seriously think we both we win both games. Mm. Well, we'd have a chance, wouldn't we? Wanderlust says Rebecca Ferguson was amazing with the Ukrainian singer for that's Ordinary right, World. Yeah. Um, just a great week wasn't it it was a great, just a great week. week in Liverpool it was a very festival like week within the city centre loads of stuff going on everyone was just dead happy three arrests all week was it that all three arrests all week there was in the city it was just a brilliant brilliant atmosphere and I know people can like poo poo it and go oh why are your ass all coming but I'm not being funny right if something is fun and, you, and you're feeling happy then you want more of it you want more of that feeling. Hmm. And when that feeling goes away, you're a little bit, oh, I miss that. Like when you come back from holiday. Because that's what it felt like for the week. It was boss. Weather was all right. Weather was brilliant. Lovely, like Friday, Saturday was gorgeous. Right. Wasn't it? Really good. Loads of people come to the city hmm. um, who hadn't been before. Loads of people going, how amazing it was. Oh, all the old stereotypes going, oh, I didn't realise it was going to be so... You no, know, like people have been forced here because of where it was. Hmm. So they come in, they go, oh my God, this place is amazing. We'd been told it was crap. And no one made any jokes just, about it because I seen something the other day saying when the last when Birmingham had it mm. in like the late at nineties, basically people felt like it was being laughed at mm. by the media and stuff. Mm. Whereas this time it was all se- like yeah, they serious. Could, they and couldn't have laughed at Liverpool the no. way they, the what they put on it was incredible. It was good. good times. Um, Posh Matty says Leicester have a thirty-seven year old James Vardy, Jamie Vardy earning one hundred and forty grand a week. If they go into the championship, they need all the money they can get for those um, bills, lawyer, lawyer bills. Oh, for yeah, yeah. for trying to shoot the old the, trying to shoot to, for the wagger there, and for trying to shoot uh, the Premier League. Where do you think T. Lewins will go? Right, hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't. Loads of you watch. Get it subscribed. Get it in a bag. Go on, go on, go on. Do it. Remember, it takes one like, second. Are we done? One second. Um, remember that time Dexy said he was going to split Mopai? I remember Amazing. it. That one time. That one time. This one time at Ben Camp. Dexy said he was going to steal a trumpet in. But... Right, we are going. What are you on about? Thank you very much for everyone who joined in. Hit the like button on your way out. Relegation. Let's make sure this time next... Well, we can't make sure, but let's hope that Everton have given themselves a great chance of staying up. Let's hope it's done this time next week and Everton are safe. There you go. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye. Bye.